Monarch is an example of subtractive synthesis. And subtractive synthesis is a pretty easy concept to understand on the whole and something that you could spend a long time mastering when you want to get down to becoming a, a real master of it. Basically, the idea is that you have an oscillator, or in this case, we have three oscillators, and you start with a sound source, and as your sound passes through different stages of the synthesizer, things are taken away from that sound. So you start with a nice full sound of oscillator, something spinning and making noise, and then it goes through a stage where something is taken away from it, and then another stage where something is taken away from it, and then another. So th those things that are taken away can be just general volume, but it can be frequencies. It could be the volumes of certain frequencies. It could be rules you've applied to it to take away parts of the sound and leave others, uh, even at different times, not necessarily all at the same time. So we start here on the left, and the, the signal flow kind of, for the most part, we'll say for the most part, goes left to right. So you have your tuning of what octave you're playing in, your fine tuning, sort of master keyboard type stuff, the glide, where your, um, you know, your how your signal is going from one note to the next, and then your oscillators here, and your oscillators start generating sound. You've got next a mixer which decides, okay, how much of each oscillator do you want to hear? Do you want to hear some noise? Do you want to hear some feedback? What is the load level of the electricity going through that? And then it goes through this envelope area where it's going through a filter envelope to kind of decide, okay, I don't want to hear all of the frequency information from all three oscillators. Let's narrow down what we're going to hear. Then when do you want that filter to take place? Right away or eventually? And then finally, the whole sound. What do you want um, with the whole sound? What, uh, how should it shape? How should the sound be attacked? How should it decay? Should it cut off right away? How long should it hold for? So again, kind of think left to right with signal flow and envision your sound just going from here, starting out very bare as a sort of a sine wave or a triangle wave, a simple waveform. And as that sound goes through all these things, you're chipping away at that waveform in very specific shapes and in very specific times to come up with a sound that is your final sound. So that's a basic primer of where the sound is going in Monarch and how you'll understand what you'll want to manipulate in each of these sections. So now we'll take a look at each of these sections and see what they do.